Hello friends, so today I'm just making this video to help you practice subtraction with regrouping with numbers at home. So we're going to do a few problems together and you can keep practicing at home so that you can do your best possible on our test um, or our quiz. It won't be until next week, um, the week of March 15th, but still good to get some extra practice in now to help you get ready. All right, so our first problem, let's start with easy peasy lemon squeezy problems. Two digits minus one digit. So let's start with 23 minus seven. So our first job is to write it vertically. We start with the greatest number, the whole, first. So I'm gonna write 23 nice and big. Then I think it helps a lot to draw a line down the middle to divide the tens and the ones. I have told you though, friends, that if you feel like you don't need to do this anymore, you can skip that step. But if you feel like it's still helping you, then you might wanna continue doing it. Now I'm gonna take my second number, the lesser number, seven, and I need to think about, hmm, is it seven, one, seven tens or seven ones? Hmm, seven, what side do you think I should put it on? Good, it's gonna go on the one side underneath the three. There are seven ones in seven. Then I wanna make sure that I add my minus sign on the side here on the left and my equal sign at the bottom. All right, now I am ready to subtract. Now remember, the most important rule, always, always, always start in the ones place first. So I'm actually going to ignore this tens place for just a minute. Look at the ones place, what does it say? It says three minus seven. Uh-oh, I know in my brain I cannot do three minus seven. If you're not sure, put up three fingers. Take away seven of them. That is not going to work. So I need to do, say it with me, regroup. I'm gonna trade one 10 for 10 ones. So I'm gonna come over the tens place. I'm gonna cross off my tens. I have two tens. I have the number at the top, my whole. I'm going to take away one 10. I always like to say, don't be greedy. Only take one. If I have two tens and I take away one, how many are left? There's one 10 left. So I put a one above it. Now I'm gonna take my 10, bring it over to the ones place, and I'm going to trade it for 10 ones. So how many ones do I already have? Again, number at the top, the whole. I have three ones, so I'm gonna do a little addition sentence here on the side. Plus, how many will I get from the 10? Hmm, one 10 trades for 10 ones. So I'm always gonna get 10 ones from the 10. Three plus 10 equals what, friends? That's right, 13. This is another step, this addition problem on the side that if you feel like I don't need to do that anymore on paper, I can do it in my head, I'm okay with that. You can skip that step, but you do need to cross out the number of ones and put the new number of ones, 13, above it. So again, drawing this line down the middle is optional. Doing this addition sentence on the side is optional. Crossing off these numbers and putting the new numbers above on the top when you regroup is not optional. That I need to be able to see. It helps me understand why you got a problem right or why you got it wrong. Now, looking at that ones place again, now it says 13 minus seven. Oh, I can do that. I know 13 minus seven, that is six. So I'm gonna put a six at the bottom here. And then I can do the tens place. I have one minus an invisible zero. And I know that that is one. So 23 minus seven equals one ten six ones. 16, nice work. Okay, for if you just watch the first one with me, make sure that you pause here, grab a piece of paper and a pencil and start doing the next one um, with me this time. If you just watched the first time, that's fine, but now I want you to do it with me. All right, let's do another one, uh, two digits minus one digit. This time let's try 36 minus nine. So I wrote my problem here horizontal, which is what I'll see a lot. I need to turn it into vertical. So first I take the first number, the 36, the whole. Write 36 on your paper, nice and big. Good 
All right, what's that helpful step that I can do if I like to? Good, you can draw a line down the middle. Now you do not have to. I do need to add my minus sign though and my equal sign. Everybody has to do that. But you can choose if you wanna put that line down the middle to divide the tens and the ones. Now I need to write the second number, nine. Hmm, which side should I put nine on? Is that nine tens or nine ones? You write it on your paper. Where does it go? Great job, that's nine ones. So I'm gonna put it here in the ones place underneath the six. All right, now I'm going to ignore the tens for just a second, and I'm going to read the ones place. Six minus nine, because we always, always, always start in the ones place. Uh-oh, I can't do six minus nine, so I need to, say it with me, regroup. I'm gonna trade one 10 for 10 ones. So go to the tens place. We have three tens, cross it off. How many should we take, friends? Don't be greedy. That's right, only take one. So if I have three tens, three minus one is two. Here's the tricky part. Bring that 10 over to the ones place and trade it for 10 ones. How many ones do I already have? That's right, I have six. It's my number at the top, the whole. Plus, how many will I get from the tens place? The tens place always gives me 10. Again, writing this addition sentence on the side is optional, it's a choice. But if I choose not to write it, I do still need to cross off the six. How many ones do I have now? Six plus 10 is 16. Now I'm ready to subtract down. 16 minus nine in the ones place is seven. Now look at the tens. Two minus an invisible zero. Good job, it's two. So 36 minus nine is 27. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna get one last problem up here that is two digits minus one digit. Again, I want you to do it, but this time I'm not gonna talk you through it. We're gonna see if you can do it on your own. I want you to try 30 minus seven. I'm gonna do it on my screen, but I'm challenging you not to peek. Don't peek at my screen. At the very end, when you finish the whole problem, you can look and see if it matches mine on the screen. Okay, go. You're working on your own. Don't peek, don't peek. If you need more time, go ahead and press the pause button real quick before we go through the answer. Come back in, join us when you're ready. All right, here we go. So 30 minus seven, I set it up with the seven in the ones place. I noticed I can't do zero minus seven. That's not gonna work. So I regrouped, I took away one 10. I had three, so now I have two. I brought my 10 over the ones place and I traded it for 10 ones. I had zero ones, so zero plus 10 more is 10. Now I can subtract 10 minus seven equals three. 2 minus an invisible 0 equals 2. So your answer is 23. Nice job. All right. Let's go ahead and get a new piece of paper. Let's challenge ourselves. We're going to do 2 digits minus 2 digits. Here we go. 21 minus 16. Now this doesn't change things very much. We're going to start the same. Write the first number, the whole. Which number is the whole? That's right, 21. Now, I can choose to put this number, or I'm sorry, this line down the middle to divide the tens and the ones if I want. All of us have to do the minus sign and the equal sign. All right, let's do the second number. My second number is two digits this time, 16. Hmm, where does the digit one go? I know there's one 10 in 16, so that means the digit six 
is going to go in the ones place because there are six ones and 16. All right, ignore the tens place for just a moment. Look at the ones place. What does it say? One plus six. Uh-oh, I can't do that, so I'm going to need to say it with me. Regroup. I'm going to trade one ten for ten ones. Go to the tens place. Show me how you cross it off. Good. Show me how you take one away. Only take one. Don't be greedy. What number's left? Good. Two minus one is one. Bring that ten over the ones place. Trade it for ten ones. Hmm, how many ones do I have? Add ten more to it. So I have one plus ten more is? Great job. Eleven. Now I can subtract the ones. Eleven minus six equals? Five, and subtract the tens. One minus one equals zero. Nice work. So 21 minus 16 is five. Nice job. All right, let's try another one together. I'm going to let you do more of it this time. Here we go. So you're going to do 33 minus... 14. Okay, you show me how you set up your problem. Write it vertically. I know you can do that. All right, check mine. Does it look the same as yours? This time I chose not to draw the line down the middle. If you did, though, that's okay. All right, ignore the tens. What does the one say? Three minus four. We always subtract down. Three minus four. Uh-oh, can't do that. Show me how you regroup. Take away one from the ten. Try not to look at mine. All right, peek and say if yours matched mine. I had three tens minus one equals two tens left. Bring your ten over the ones place. Don't peek. Show me. How many ones are you going to have now? All right. Check your answers. See if it's the same as mine. I had three ones plus ten more ones equals thirteen. Good job. All right. Here we go. Thirteen minus nine, subtracting down the ones. I'm sorry. Thirteen minus four equals nine. And then do the tens place. Two minus one. You can do that. One, so 33 minus 14 is 19. We have time for one last quick one. So this is one you're gonna do by yourself and just peek at my answer when you're done. You're gonna try 40 minus 22, go. Remember, don't peek at my screen until you are done. Miss Diana will just have to call that person back. Don't peek at my screen until you're finished. When you're finished, you can check and see if you got the same answer as me. All right, if you're not done, go ahead and pause the video and finish up and then come back and join us. If you are done, Check my screen, see if you got the same answer as me. 40 minus 22 equals 18. Nice work. Okay, if at the end of this video, it still feels a little bit hard for you, that's okay. Remember, this is, Ms. Steiner said, like the hardest thing we're gonna learn all year. So if it's still feeling hard, just admit that it's okay. Tell mom or dad, ask them to give you more problems. The more we that we practice, the better you're going to get. All right, remember our quiz will be next week, the week of March 15th. Have a great day. Bye, first grade.